back again guys solo screws sending peace and blessings to you all out there hashtag solo nation so guys at the time of recording solos on 34 cents we're up 12 percent on the day xrp's on 46 cents we're up two percent on the day so guys appreciate you everyone for the support of the channel guys if you haven't yet subscribed smash the subscribe button guys so today we're just going to elaborate we did a video a few days ago guys speaking on nfts on the xrpl so i'm just going to elaborate on this on that today guys we'll go over it quickly so big dreams for nfts and this is a, this is by ripple this article by ripple while the most common use case today for nfts is collectibles and that's been an exciting area and will continue to be so. Monica explains they can go, they can also go far beyond this. Monica is, is the general manager at Ripple, guys. The applications of NFT can extend to lots of different industries, but the core idea is about ownership. This idea of ownership of a digital asset is paramount when it comes to transparency. NFTs live on blockchains, public ledgers, which are inherently transparent. This allows for an immutable record of transactions and data, a single source of truth around ownership, something Monica says can be particularly helpful for such assets, for assets such as, for example, real estate titles or carbon credits. The XRP ledger has always been efficient in the creation and exchange of tokens since its inception in 2012. The XRP ledger was the first to enable the tokenization of any form of value on a blockchain. It's also, it also introduced to the world the concept of a decentralized exchange, Monica explains. Guys, we know he's doing tokenization, sologenic, tokenizing on the XRP ledger. And our DEX is decentralized, guys. The XRPL offers huge advantages to those building NFT projects, including very low transaction prices on a high throughput blockchain that is carbon neutral. XRPL transaction fees are about a half a penny, a powerful value proposition for developers of NFT projects that may have been previously deterred by expensive gas fees on other blockchains. Today we're seeing many use cases in the realm of art media and entertainment. Monica tells us, we look into the future, we can expect to see NFTs expand to, to have multi, a multitude of enterprise applications as well, especially within financial services. XLS20. XLS20 unlocks new potential for creators on the XRPL. This, is, this XLS20, XLS20 standard proposed by Ripple now up for approval on XRPL validators, makes the creation of NFTs on the XRPL very compact and efficient, reducing any negative impact to the XRP ledger's performance and avoiding congestion at scale. This is what we're waiting for, guys. This is what everyone's waiting for, you know, the XLS20, it's, you know. Even David Schwartz said himself, you know, he said about the solo genetic decks, he said it's a bit clunky, yeah, in places, but the XLS20 <laughs> will basically sort it out and put it right back, you know, will make it 100%. So, guys, listen. David Schwartz, you know, he likes Hologenic. <laughs> David Schwartz likes Hologenic, guys, yeah? So, let's get into it. Monica explains that with XLS20, Developers can create NFTs without the additional security risks and complexities and therefore room for error that come with smart contracts since XLPL does not require them to run to accomplish many tasks. With the features like minting and auctioning built into the standard, XLS20 seeks to bring significant ease to the developer's creation process. Monica stressed how Ripple has always believed that the power of XRP Ledger is in tokenization, liquidity and settlement, guys. Tokenization. Who's tokenizing on the XRPL, guys? Again, Sologenic. 
Got to keep telling you guys that. Got to keep um, letting you know that, guys. Sorry. Letting you know. It's so good at doing these things across a broad set of use cases on a global scale. And that is what builds us toward the internet of value. Democratizing. Democratizing. Democratizing access to blockchain and crypto among various use cases such as payments or carbon credits presents a unique opportunity. Those markets are more competitive and efficient. There's more empowerment toward the end users or, cre or the creators, making the world of value creation and movement just as efficient as information exchange, says Monica. Shout out to you, Monica. Shout out to you. Sustainable through, through NFTs. Sustainability has been a key impact platform for Ripple, with the company committing to carbon neutral by 2030 and pledging 100 million towards carbon market investments this past May. The initiatives also extend to the XRPL, the, first, the world's first major carbon neutral blockchain. We really believe that there's a powerful product market fit for carbon credit markets on blockchain. As it stands, these markets suffer from similar problems seen in the world of payments, including efficiency issues that blockchains are great at solving through the creation of a global fabric offering transparency across different markets. Already we're seeing companies take this use case and bring it to the XRP ledger. For example, exchange.com, a securities exchange operated in partnership with the United Nations announced they're in process of building a carbon credit marketplace on XRPL. So guys, I just wanted to bring you this article quickly just to, you know, just to get, you know, elaborate on NFTs on the XRPL. Um, the XLS20 is coming, guys. It's coming, you know, that's going to enhance it's going to enhance the XRPL, it's going to enhance Sologenic, or the NFTs, all of that. So guys, I appreciate you all for the support. If you haven't already, you know what to do, guys. I'm Solo Scrooge with the Solo News. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace.